The first thing that I auditioned for, I don't even remember because I was a very young child in Chicago and I even did, I did some Gerber baby action. So I was pretty little, but the first audition that I really remember vividly actually was Mad Men. I was six years old when I first auditioned for Mad Men and I always remembered before any audition, before any acting thing, I got so excited. I was just so obsessed. My first scene that I shot was actually the first scene that I appear as Sally, which is running on screen with a plastic bag over my head. And my mother says, my clothes better not be on the floor. <laughs> and is not paying attention to the safety hazard <laughs> at all. That was a little bit of a trend, a little bit of a foreshadowing moment. So I was six when I started the show and I didn't really go back and watch the whole thing until I was 13. I never felt like I was shielded from it, but actually going back and revisiting it when I was sick and on Netflix was a lovely treat. That scene where my character s happens to be smoking and happens to have really s stylized hair with a whole lot of hairspray. I was also scared because I smoked the cigarette backwards the first take, which was so unpleasant. Um, and the whole thing, I was like, so glad I'm here and didn't catch on fire. I'm so glad. <laughs> I did not attend traditional school. I'm a kindergarten dropout. I, I really wanna go to a prom, I or several proms, hopefully. That's, that's the goal. I can't miss out on the big, big school events, even if I don't go to school. Sorcerer's Stone was definitely a big, magical moment. I loved Hermione, I loved Ron, I loved Harry. I loved the whole, the whole Harry Potter squad. I honestly think I probably watched that movie once a day. It was, I was kind of on a rotation between the like, Air Bud, Harry Potter, Wizard of Oz, Sound of Music, repeat, Air Bud. <laughs> It's not a classic. You know, it was, I loved it. It was a cute dog, it was a sweet story. That's a movie that makes me cry.